it's been a while since I've done one of these logs and the reason why I'm doing one now is I want to talk about some of well, the reality check that I've really been receiving over the last couple of weeks about the trip itself, the 30 and 90 trip. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm uh, getting scared of the concept, but it, there are some doubts and, and there are some concerns. Many, for many different reasons. I mean, for starters, I've got so much going on right now for the next couple of months. Not only this, but everything else with Richard's 35th, work at Swiss Chalet, um, getting my degree, getting accustomed to the motorcycle again. I'm taking mechanics, not mechanics lessons, but uh, I took a course at Centennial College for basic, you know, mechanical sort of uh, course on motorcycles. So like this when I'm on the road, I can do my own oil changes. I can fix things here and there. I can understand the bike much better. Um, a lot of things going on for the next for the next couple of months for me. And and on top of it all, trying to organize the 30 and 90 trip pretty much, you know, by myself. You know, Am I going to have enough money for the, the whole thing in terms of how it's being budgeted because I'm trying something relatively new for me? Um, the camping aspect, you know, <laughs> being able to stay and finding people that can house me for those few times that, that I want to be housed. The presentation itself, you know, that I want to put together. Like I said, doubts and concerns. But at the same time, I think I'm glad I have them because it's keeping me, you know, honest. You know, I could sort of have the act of hubris, hubris, and it's like, ah, you know, I can do this with my eyes closed. It's going to be no problem. And then complete, be completely unprepared. But, uh, no. I'm gonna have to really start putting the rubber to the ground kind of deal and, and moving forward and making sure that everything's cool and legit. It's a little scary to think about all these things. I'm not scared of the idea, but it's intimidating. I think that's the word I'm looking at. It's, it's, it's intimidating, not scary. It's intimidating what it is that I'm trying to do right now. I hope I can get some help, that's for sure. And that's the whole spirit of Richard's 35th and the trip in particular. Or should I say not say the trip, but the 30 and 90 tour. It's an exercise in collaboration. It's an exercise in being open. And moments like these that I'm recording, well, they're really for me, fundamentally. You know, when I'm old and gray kind of deal, or even next year, I don't know. I, I, I can look back on these videos and say to myself, you know, Richard, you are worried for nothing. Or the complete opposite, it's like, Richard, you gotta listen to your gut instincts more. But in any case, it's I think it's valuable. I think it's something that I have to do and just Just keep it, keep the dream alive and, and turn it into reality. But at the same time, it's, it would be easy to cancel everything and wait for a year. Because here's the other thing too is, I haven't been on a motorcycle in about four years, really. And even coming back from Windsor, you know, it was like, wow, like, can I do this for three months? Essentially put four to five hours on a bike for three, every day for three months. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's, like I said, it's in intimidating to me. But it was also my first trip. Or should I say my first time back on a bike when I came back from Windsor. 
I think my tolerance is going to go up just from writing for the next couple of months. In any case, like I said, it's, I wanted to talk about this because then I would, it wouldn't be true to what Richard's 35th is all about. And at the same time, I want to capture this to solicit help for those who can help, who want to help. And at the same time, it's a good sort of capture, a moment of posterity for me for, for when I'm old and gray. Because I do have doubts and I do have concerns. And I want to share that.